This is not a tutorial for hexing people. Probably. Today, we're gonna learn about hex and see why it makes our lives so much easier when we wanna use a bunch of binary for things. Like, I don't know, RGB values for instance? When you have a lot of binary together, say for like a 32-bit integer, it can be really difficult to read. That's like 32 ones or zeros beside each other. It's hard to read that right away. This is where hex can come in. Hex allows you to convert four bits into a letter or a number that is only a single digit. So you can go from a 32-bit integer to only eight letters or numbers, and you lose no information. Pretty awesome. Since the goal of hex is to shorten the number of characters that is needed for binary, it just uses zero through nine for, well, zero through nine in binary. Although once you get to 10, which is one zero one zero, surprise, surprise, 10 is two digits. Well, we actually switch over to the alphabet. So that's when letter A starts. Then we go all the way to one, 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 which is 15. And that is the letter F. So then if you read something as F, 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 it just means 16 ones. So have you ever heard of a hex value for color? That's all this is, it's just binary. So the hex code for red is actually F, F, zero, 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 which is basically eight ones followed by 16 zeros. So this is actually broken down into R, G, B. So it's 100% red since the first two parts of the hex are full ones or FF. Then it's 0% green and 0% blue since the rest are, well, zeros. That's it. Now you know the basics for hex and why it's used for RGB. Remember, I'm Jake, you're awesome, and this has been Hex. Thanks for watching. Cheers.